Hi, this is Carter from VMware here, and I want to show off a little tool that we call Project Onyx. Now, the purpose of this tool is to really help people automate some of the more tricky things that they face when they're dealing with vSphere. So if you look at PowerCLI, you'll see we've got a lot of commands, but if you compare that relative to the vSphere API, you're going to find that the coverage is really not complete. So this tool is meant to help people bridge the gap. And so let's see kind of how this works. Okay, to start off with, I've got a pretty basic uh, vSphere setup here. I'm going to select a VM, edit the settings of that, and then I'm going to go in and select a video card. What I'm going to do is resize the amount of memory allotted to the VM for the uh, video memory. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to hit OK. It's going to do, go do its thing, reconfigure the VM. Now, in the meantime, I've actually hooked this thing up uh, to this Project Onyx, which is a program that sits between the vSphere client and the vCenter server itself. So when it made that request, it turned this into a set of code that you can see here. So we see that we create this thing called the virtual machine config spec. We give it a lot of uh, various different properties as follows, and then uh, we call the reconfig VM task. And so this is actual working code that you could use to resize the video memory of a VM. And if you try to go through our API, it's a little bit challenging to figure out how this works. Not only what calls should you make, but how you build these data structures that make the whole thing work. Okay, so clear that output. Let's look at another example. So something that's new for vSphere is uh, there are a lot of new cluster level settings for things like HA uh, at a per VM level. So we can go in and for high availability, we can actually override the cluster settings for every single VM. And we don't have any commandlets that will help you do that. So let's see actually uh, what it would look like in code. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to just change some parameters. Uh, truthfully, I, I don't really know what these parameters do. I, I'm not sure what I'm doing here, but um, let's just see what happens. So I mentioned this was uh, pretty early on, and uh, you know, here's kind of the proof of that. So we actually get a nice, big, fat, juicy error, but if we ignore it, we can see actually the code did get generated properly, and we have something useful. Again, this is real live code that you could put into a PowerCLI session and override the settings uh, for HA for a particular VM. So we see the various um, objects that are necessary. We see things like um, an object called cluster uh, DAS VM settings. There are all the various properties that go into that. And finally, you come down and you call uh, reconfigure compute resource task. So anyway, um, clear that out. One more little example that's kind of neat is um, within vCenter, you can actually uh, set vCenter, uh, set um, configuration variables that are specific to vCenter, and this tool also uh, detect those. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go in and change some aspects of the database retention policy. And so I'm going to turn that on and set it to one year. Hit OK, switch back to the Onyx window, and uh, we see, again, some real live working code that will go in and change that. So if you've got a bunch of vCenters, for example, you could very easily change the configuration on all of those using this code. And uh, true story, I actually um, kind of stumbled upon this by accident. I had no idea uh, before using this tool that, that this was possible and that this is how it works. So it's uh, even if you've been working with the API for a pretty good period of time, you know, this is a tool that can really help you um, understand more about it. So if you want to see the real demo for Project Onyx, we're going to be showing that off uh, at VMworld. And that's at session uh, VM2241. And that's going to be a Tuesday uh, noon and 5.30. We've got a repeated session, so Tuesday noon and 5.30. And as a bonus, you know, this is a tool that we want people to start using and you know, giving us feedback on. So the way this is going to work is we're going to get um, a total of 10 people to help us beta test this. 
So if you're interested in trying this tool out for yourself, uh, if you've got um, you know some tricky automation that you need um, a tool like this to help you with, um, the the way this works is uh, at the session will be um, you know if you come up, you bring your business card. We're basically going to pick five people at random uh, to help us beta test this tool. So if you're there, uh, come see us at VM2241. Bring your business card and uh, you'll get to try this tool out.